Call me to tea. Call me to tea. Call me me to tea. Call you me new. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 came out, um, and they kind of rebalanced some stuff, and um, um, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. I don't know if I've seen an update ruin a game. I mean, I can say period like this specifically. Um, I've never seen anything this egregious, but I think they just killed COD because they, they, there was always this kind of aimbot for controller users. It was kind of like, you'd be a little cynical towards, you would be like, oh, it's aimbot, and you would joke. Well, it was one thing when, when it was just like a joke, you know? And it was like, you could tell that they had a lot of aim assistance. And it was one thing when you're like, well, they're on controllers and mouse and keyboard is still the way to go. But after the update about a week ago, I mean, it, it, if you tweak the settings now on a controller and in the settings in this game, and you find the right tweaks, and I didn't find it on my own. In fact, the shortest version of the story is that I was playing it and I got bad at the game. I was doing bad. And I, I and I put on I put it on my cool guy hat and I said, I'm a GG mate, I'm a good go I'ma get good. And so I thought I'd start putting in the effort to get good in Call of Duty. And I watched some videos about how control is better, cause ADS. I, I thought I'd just try. I mean, what am I gonna uh, just not try? I mean, I want I want to learn what's going on here because it looks like people have like aimbot. At first, I was reporting people because I, I was sure they had aimbot. Like they were, they put 360 no scope to shame. They were more than just like it was. It looked like cheating. Like it was. It was like you could be over here and the guy was like right, like looking this way, and it would just be like. <clears throat> And it's not even just like snipers or shotguns or powerful guns. They were like, they were, they were like battle rifles from across the map, which is just uh, with, with the fire, with the, um, they have five mods you can put on a gun and they'd set it up in a way that would just pretty much be sniping because by the, you, you couldn't escape the two bullets in the, in the same kind of um, damage per second. The DPS of the guns, it's just, it's just like objectively better than the snipers. It's kind of weird that it's like that because they have SMGs, LMGs, right? And those are obviously very different, but then you have like assault rifles and battle rifles. And that's kind of like, huh, they see, they're very different because battle rifles are more extreme, more damage, less fire rate. And then you got like DMRs, designated rifles, and you have sniper rifles and it's usually pretty clear how they function and these five mod slots can make things kind of complicated and sometimes your sniper is going to be better than the other guy's sniper because you have five better mods those kind of things can be frustrating and all but we're not talking about snipers or shotguns with crazy mods we're not talking about akimbos and and uh your typical broken stuff or or, or we're talking like they, they just put, like, aimbot in the game. The update made the ADS, the um, assisted aiming system, so egregious that I was watching a guy. And it looked like it had to be either an SMG or a battle rifle. I, I, I would be a little surprised if it was... I think it was a battle rifle. I'd be a little surprised if it was an assault rifle because it hit pretty hard. And, you know, SMGs can from close to mid-range, but... It's rapid fire was so high that I didn't know what I was looking at. I, I, I didn't know what gun that was, but it reminded me almost um, I, of like a, a couple other guns. We'll put it that way. And I'm like, oh, um, that could be either an SMG or, or a battle rifle. I don't know. Um, <laughs> and he was like aimbotting everyone like we're talking to the head not even like chest shots like aim he wasn't even he was like super mario 64 jumping all over the place he made um bunny hopping and halo look like nothing i i was like wow so i quit the game 
I was like, I'm not playing with this guy. This guy, fuck, this guy's out of, this guy's on crack. So I'm not, I'm not I don't want to play with that guy. He's, he's, yeah, okay, fine. He's good at the game, maybe. I don't know. And basically, all week, I've just been kind of going through that every single time I turn the game on. And the maps are weird because there's all kinds of cool maps in COD that are just, like, not ever played anymore. I, I think they inter-exchange them depending on, what would you call it, the seasons. But it's weird because this season's been going on for two months. And so the October stuff is sitting there in November. And I'm like, that's is that them being, like, they lazy when they put out a new COD? I'm, am I missing out because I didn't get the new... I, I don't really necessarily get to know unless I constantly buy new stuff and get the, um, well, the real update? I, I, it's hard to tell because, um, third person doesn't even seem to, um, it doesn't seem to be a thing in Modern Warfare 3. And, um, but it's a thing. The content's hard to understand. You know, it sounds like MW2 right there, you know. And you go back, and then it's like it's just Call of Duty HQ. And so you got the three, right? And that just tells me to buy it, pre-purchase to play. I don't I don't know why it says that. It, the game's out. Oh, campaign. Oh, what, it's weird. And then quick play, and MW2 right there. So, like, um, you got Warzone, which is the free thing. And it's right next. It's very trashy. It's, you know, MW3 campaign, multiplayer, pre-purchase. I could have sworn the game was out. Um, I guess it's just campaign zombies. That's that, doesn't that look cool? Um, I want to get into this. Um, uh, it's, it's, uh, this, am I missing something here? No, I don't know. Open world? What? I don't want that. It's just completely stupid. Anyways, so you know MW two. So I would go here multiplayer, right? Isn't that such a weird setup? That's such a weird way to set up this app it's like so easy seeing to get lost but that's not the big issue that the issue is i don't know where the content truly lies i don't i don't know where like it that that's that, that that's weird why have an hq thing if you're still going to separate the games like that you're basically throwing away 40 gigabytes of my memory it's kind of hard to explain so i'll i'll spare you but uh, maybe for another video, <laughs> but no, um, I've had it. I, it was one thing when it was one stupid thing, two stupid three, three stupid thing. But now with the the aimbot being so egregious, I'm not even having fun. I, I'd rather go play a shooter where I have to actually aim when I shoot my gun. The game almost feels like it's playing itself. I feel like I I would be cheating. At, I feel like I'm cheating at the game. <laughs> But everyone's cheating, you know. But what I'm just saying is, it's bad. It's bad.